The first photograph was taken by ESA 3 on January 6, 1967, is showing a hole at the North Pole. But are they real photographs or fakes? The U.S. Environmental Science Services Administration, ESA, was created in 1965 as part of a reorganization of the United States Department of Commerce, USDOC. Its mission was to oversee the nation's weather and climate operations. In January 1966, ESA changed the Weather Bureau's name to the National Weather Service, NWS, and the National Data Center was renamed the Environmental Data Service, EDS. In 1970 ESA was reorganized again and it became the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Its satellite program was launched by NASA in 1958, and ended with the decommissioning of its last satellite in 1977. But if not fake, why are the poles blacked out? Some scholars say at this time of year the North Pole would have been in darkness anyway. While others say the poles have been blacked out by airbrush to hide and hold to hollow earth. What doesn't the government want us to know about, the true nature of the ice at the poles? Could it have something to do with global warming, and the ice caps are not melting? They say the world is warming but spring came late this year in the UK, two months late. Also I have read an article that satellites can't fly over the poles because there's no mass there to keep them in orbit. The reason being there is no mass there to exert a gravitation acceleration towards the Earth to keep them in orbit. The very first satellites put in polar orbit were lost because they had not taken into account the existence there of a polar opening into the Earth's interior. Therefore, all subsequent polar orbiting satellites have had to be put in orbit so that they do not go over the polar opening. Even on the Russian side of the pole, there are no orbiting satellites, and some researchers have suggested that the polar opening is located on the Russian side of the pole, and holograms, mind blocks, space-time curves, or methods not even imagined by our limited knowledge are used to cover it up. When you think about it, the North and South Poles are probably the best secrets of regions on the planet.